I'm Lori Margolis and I have food allergies. I'm allergic to shellfish, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, and coconut. Growing up with food allergies was totally strange because I was the only kid in my class and actually in my entire school probably who had food allergies. So now that food allergies are so prevalent, it's interesting because people will contact me here and there that I haven't talked to for years and tell me, hey, my kid has food allergies now. And I remember you had food allergies growing up and asked me for advice or tips. Um, grocery shopping is especially hard, especially when you have a family with food allergies with the exception of my husband. But we, my boys have food allergies and I, so going grocery shopping is definitely hard. Reading labels can be just a disaster in itself. It takes me the double the time going grocery shopping than it does for a parent who does not have a child with food allergies. So corn, vegetable oil, corn, canola, and or some, and salt. Jalapeno. The silk brown is dairy free, but then it has almond in it. Made in a bakery that may also use milk. Okay, this is a great one. Contains wheat, and then it says made in a facility totally free of peanuts, tree nuts, soy, sesame, and animal products. Okay, so this one says soy and wheat, which is really interesting because you not, you don't really see soy, and I'm sure that so many of these contain soy on there. Um, and I'm allergic to soy, so that's a big one, but looking at every ingredient, it looks like there's nothing in here that my kids can't have. So I'm gonna grab these. This is totally different than what I've seen, but they say it says vegan but it contains soy and chickpeas, so we can't do this. Some of the staples in our house are the skinny pop. Sweet and salty popcorn. So that's a bonus for us, because he can eat it dairy-free, the tree nut free, and the peanuts free. Awesome. The Make Good, the Enjoy Life, all those brands that um, are, can be allergen-free, and so we tend to stock up on those. Grab some turkey burgers because this is a constant meal in our house is turkey burgers, burgers because it's allergen free. So this is a good one. That's a really good brand. Follow your heart too. It's a really good one. And I know that a lot of kids who have food allergies like live on these for snacks and all of this. These are really good too. Our school does have a safe snack list and so you have to pick from that list of all different foods that are the top allergen free um, foods that you can bring in to the classrooms for snack, which has been a total lifesaver for my boys because then they feel included because they can look over at someone else's snack and know that, hey, I, I've had that before. So they don't feel so left out. Um, raising two boys with food allergies is difficult, but I have been through so much with my own food allergies and my own experiences that for me, um, I think it's, it's, it helps them to know that I've been through it before too. So when I have had to give them their auto injector, I've been through that too. So I know how it feels and I know how your body feels and I know how their symptoms start to feel. So I can recognize it pretty quickly when they're having an allergy. But that's also not to say that I haven't made any mistakes. Um, grabbing something that has been mislabeled or a change of color in the packaging. Uh, this has chickpeas in it. Chickpea protein. They changed the bag of this. It says may contain peanuts. That's new. That was never on there before. I definitely realized that you constantly have to read the ingredients all the time because things change all the time. I always have to check the label, even though I've bought something like a hundred times because the label can change. And then there's words sometimes that you don't even know what you're buying. It's a may contain, may not contain. The things that they use sometimes in the ingredients that we just need to stay away from because we're not really sure what it even means. So this is just egg made from plants, but it's got this mung bean, so that's something that I would have to look up. I spent a lot of time looking up ingredients while I'm here. It's definitely been a challenge to try to understand um, you know, and, and go 
shopping. And luckily, we have my wife here who's, who's great with dealing with food allergies. And she's kind of, she's the expert on it. And I defer a lot, of, most of it to her. Um, if there's a label that I read that I'm unsure of, which even if I feel confident about it, I still run it by her. It's just what I do because I don't want to take any chances. Understanding if it's okay, if it's, um, I'm, you know, it's not okay if it's on equipment that has their allergens, but if it's in a facility, what does that mean? There's an almond milk right next to it. And there's a coconut milk here. So I don't know about cross-contamination. So then if I were to buy something like this, I would have to call the company and ask and probably be on hold for 20 minutes. There's quite a few gray areas. And so we usually bear on the side of um, safety. So we just don't take chances with those type of things, even if it sounds like it's probably okay. Having food allergies really you really can't have a variety of foods and different choices. You're so limited to the things that you can eat. So it's difficult to make meals. One of my biggest worries is when they go off to college or even when they're in high school. That's where my fear sits in. Like, that's where I can't sleep at night and I think about it. 